Praise the Lord, 102. <laughs> Message 102. Praise the Lord. We just had an ice storm <laughs> yesterday and last night. And uh, I wanted to see what I'd like to show you. I thank you, O Lord God, for the sun that rises, that you cause to rise. Thank you, Jesus. You are the bright morning star, the Bible calls you. And we just thank you, Jesus, that you are coming back someday. And we'll see you brilliantly like the full sun and rejoice in you always as your children. I hope you can see the ice hitting the trees. <laughs> well, <laughs> the ice on the trees as the sun hits that ice on the trees and it sparkles. I just saw that when I first saw it, I looked out my window, I go, Woo! <laughs> that was, <laughs> see that sparkling. Wow. Uh, so, uh, God's Word is sparkling and alive. I encourage you as always to uh, uh, breathe in deeply with a smile and uh, say God's Word. Proverbs 15.30 says, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. Proverbs 15.30 A cheerful look, the NIV version, New International Version, uh, one of their publications, says Proverbs 15 30 a cheerful look brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones let's put a smile on each day and with a smile breathe deeply breathe in God's Word 2 Timothy 3 16 and 17 all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching for reproof for correction and training in righteousness that the man of God, the woman of God, may be complete, equipped with every, equipped for every good work. This is from the English Standard Version Bible, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture, God's word, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Pray with me. Thank you, God. May we always come to your word. Breathe it in, for it is your breath. For it equips us for life. We thank you for your word, for speaking to us through your word in the Bible. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And I share the words of Jesus Christ from uh, the book of Revelation 3.20. Jesus says uh, to us, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 in the New American Standard Bible Version. Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand, Jesus says this, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. Oh God, this day we invite you to live in us. We thank you, Jesus for your presence in us through the Holy Spirit. May we hear you dining with us, fellowshipping with us every second of every day. And may we fellowship with you. We pray in your name, Jesus, amen. And one more I pray, or I say, <laughs> Jesus speaks this, uh, recorded in uh, John eight twelve. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The light of life. Wow. God sparkling uh, on that icy trees. And from the English Standard Version, John 8:12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. 
Lord, may we always follow you. Uh, know that you're with us and follow you in our life. Join with you in, in praising you and obeying you in our life that we may have the joy of life. That we may know where to go and walk correctly. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Now I encourage you also to read a proverb every day. And I just uh, to praise God's name in prayer and song also. I just sing hallelujah with me, please. Hallelujah, which means praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible, Proverbs 8, God's Word, breathe, breathe it in, does not wisdom call, does not understanding raise her voice, on the heights beside the way, at the crossroads she takes her stand, beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals she cries aloud. To you, O men, I call, and my cry is to the children of man. O simple ones, learn prudence. O fools, learn sense. Hear, for I will speak noble things, and from my lips will come what is right. For my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straight to him who understands. And right to those who find knowledge. Take my instruction instead of silver, in knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels, and all that you may desire cannot compare with her. And all that you may desire cannot compare with her, with the wisdom God gives. He gives in his word. 
I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. I read that again. The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance in the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. I have counsel and sound wisdom. I have insight. I have strength. By me kings reign and rulers decree what is just. By me princes rule and nobles all who govern justly. I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even fine gold, and my yield than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the path of justice, granting an inheritance to those who love me, and filling their treasures. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of old. Ages ago I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains had been shaped. Before the hills I was brought forth. Before he had made the earth with its fields or the first of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep. And that ends with verse 28. There's more. You can read that, Proverbs 8. Thank you, God, for your word and your beauty. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. Amen.